It doesn't matter how long your family has been in America. It doesn't matter where your ancestors came from. We are all Americans. It's our responsibility to make this country better and reduce its racism. Next, we're going to welcome President of SBCA Foundation, Ms. Crystal Lu, a first-generation gener immigrant from Asia. Let's welcome Ms. Crystal Lu. Hello, everyone. Hello, Boston. My name is Crystal Lu. I come from California. Anyone also from California? Anyone who has visited California? Awesome. I grassroots organization called Silicon Valley Chinese Association Foundation. Six board members and myself are here today. I know hundreds and thousands of Californians who want to join you, but due to the distance, they can't. However, they donated generously to pay for our trips. They made sure that the six of us can be here to join this amazing crowd. They made sure that I stand here on their behalf for this important and historical moment. Everyone, can I please ask you to cheer for the Californians and those who are from every corner of this nation who are watching the online YouTube live, stream, live streaming. Can you please give them some cheering? Californians, since you are watching online, we cannot hear you, but we trust that you are reciprocating with loud cheers too. Thank you so very much, Californians and those who are watching online. No matter where we are from, two things make Asian Americans stand out. One, extremely hardworking. Two, notoriously apathetic to politics. I'm sorry to have said that, but it is true. We work hard, pay taxes, obey the law and order, and keep to ourselves. We tell our kids to follow the same accountability. Sounds like model minorities, right? When it comes to legal matters, politics, making public appearances, speaking like I am now, we rarely get involved or even tune in. But look at us. Look at Copley Square. Look at Boston. It is here now. We proudly announce we have casted that model minority stereotype out. We are rewriting history by making our voices heard loud and clear in solidarity. This reminds me of early 2014 when we Asian Americans in California fought a bill called SCA-5, short for State Constitutional Amendment Number 5. It marked a water-shedding moment of Asian Americans' involvement in public affairs. SCA-5 intended to amend the state of constitution and reestablish the consideration of race, skin color, and ethnicity in public university admissions in California. Sounds familiar to what Harvard is doing, right? SCA 5's hidden agenda was to squeeze out the so called overrepresented groups like, you guessed it, Asian American students. Just like that, the sleeping tiger moms and tiger dads woke up. This racially discriminatory agenda drove people out of their comfy little homes where they previously hid by working extra hours for their work, where their kids quietly studied math and science, 
to stay ahead of school and obediently play piano or violin every day where TV was strictly restricted. But this time, Asian Americans rebelled. We demonstrated and protested in Sacramento and other cities. We labored and gathered petitions. We shamelessly lobbied legislators. In fact, my organization, SVCA Foundation, was born right there, right then. In the end, we defeated SCA 5. You know why? Because we broke apart from our role and got loud and obnoxious in 2014. Today, we once again got loud and obnoxious. So, if you ask me now, what are the two characteristics of Asian Americans? Number one, the same, hardworking. Number two, yes, you guessed it, loud and obnoxious. That's our characteristics, our personality, too. I love that, how loud and obnoxious you are. Growing up, my parents told me, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it. And there are many sacrifices they make through all aspects of lives. Harvard deemed them lacking positive personalities such as liability, courage, kindness, and being widely respected. Believe it or not, being loud and obnoxious like we are right now won't make it any worse. What do we have to lose? My friends, I thank you for coming today to further buck that dispassionate, apathetic stereotype. Time when our United Nation is sadly balkanized, we're seeing political and social tribes divided than ever. Therefore, I thank you for showing up today to tell Harvard to stop putting a wedge between various groups, to stop. Education rights. Today we say.